How do you confuse a liberal? You yeah, don't. They're born that way. The conservative government in Canada, now they're asking supporters to dig deep for what they're calling the most expensive political campaign to date. Of course, that'll be the 2015 election. Give us money so we can go out and win. I'm a Canadian, and of course, what comes to my mind is, why would I give you money? For what reason? What have you done? If you, as a viewer to this show, know something that they've done that I don't know about or I don't get it, send us an email. Let me know. They've been in power a lot of years now. What have they done? Show me a change. Show me something that's truly conservative. I've been looking around. I don't see anything. And so if I pay them more money, what do I get in return? What's in it for me? Again, I don't get it. I can say that all day long. I don't get it. I don't get it. Does anybody get it? I don't. Ah, come on. If you don't vote for them and the liberal people get in, what's the difference? Is there a difference? Share with me. Help me out here. Human rights. Human rights go right in the face of you know, free speech, and it's a contradiction to so many things. The liberals did that, and the conservatives have had all the opportunities in the world to change things, undo thousands and thousands of laws and rules put in by the liberals. This is just one of so many, as I'm saying, but in any event, this is a pretty big one because you have the right of free speech, you have the right of this and the right of that, but then there's a little thing saying that, hey, you don't have any rights at all. Human rights says you're not allowed to think unless we tell you you can. It's kind of like saying you can have gas in your car, but I own the gas station, I'm going to make sure they're always locked. What good is that? I mean, to have laws with those contradictions out there, I mean, it's a bad thing. It's a liberal thing. And the conservative government hasn't done anything to change that. Again, show me something good. Show me something that they have done. But I repeat myself, I know I do, but please help me get it. Send us an email. It's time to put Canada's most sacred cow, which would be supply management to do with the dairy world out to pasture. That's, again, one of so many things. Socialists, I mean, dismantle its supply management for dairy farms. It's unbelievable. It belongs in, I don't know, Russia back in the 1950s. Maybe that's where it came from. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It's a controlled market system, supply management. It just doesn't work. It shouldn't work. It's very, very expensive. And it's artificially, you know, uh, supportive of high tariffs and keeps everything high and it controls production. I mean, again, it's just, it's not free enterprise. It doesn't work or shouldn't work in our world. California, they're kind of like, Canadians and California. I live there for half of the year and it drives me insane. I get a headache every time I drive around and look at what they're doing. I mean, they've taken lessons maybe from Canada, but I'm talking now specifically about the Shell gas stations. They've targeted the Shell gas stations for the bathrooms. There's hardly a Shell station in the entire state. There's almost 40 million people there that has an operating bathroom. They've come in the broadcast and said, hey, <laughs> wheelchairs won't fit in these. We're closing them. What about all the people who are in a wheelchair that want to use the bathroom? Uh, uh, you can't. They don't close down the gas station or anything like that. They just close down the bathroom. And the Shell people have taken the position, we're not going to put in bathrooms. We're just selling gas here. People are all upset and it's just uh, name changes. <laughs> Liberals, back to them again. Now specifically I'm talking about football, NFL name changes. Let's change the name. Washington Redskins to something else because we're offending people. I guess we're offending Indians. I don't know. Let's just talk about that briefly. We've got to be careful, of course, not to offend. So in the spirit of political correctness, let's get rid of the Kansas City Chiefs, the American Braves, the Cleveland Indians, and the reference for the Redskins makes, you know, that talks about skin color. So you got to get rid of the Cleveland Browns and the Carolina Panthers. I think that's to do with the black movement back in the 60s or 70s or whatever it was. So they were militant types. So get rid of that name as well. The New York Yankees, I think that's offensive to the Southern people in the old Confederacy. You know, there's not a, a New York Confederacy team, is there? Anything like that? You got to get rid of. It. Then there's religion, the Catholic religion. You got the New Orleans Saints, the Los Angeles Angels, the San Diego Padres. Not very nice. That's politically incorrect. The team names are glorified criminals. You're talking about Oakland Raiders, the Minnesota Vikings, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Pirates in Pittsburgh. Whoa, the San Diego Chargers. I can go on and on here. You got the Cincinnati. Reds, you're promoting downers. You know, that's kind of a reference to pills and drugs and the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh oh, pretty bad message. Drinking beer here. Nancy pansy things. If you're going to change the name, change liberals to liars or just stupid. Y'all come back tomorrow. We're going to have more for you from the right. See ya.